M Mr. Bear, it it's getting kind of late. Me and my sister have to go. No, but but our, our parents don't even know we're here. Every year around Christmas time, the bear would show up on television. To an 11 year old though, there wasn't anything especially odd about it. Sure, it was strange, but so were a lot of kids shows, let alone the ones that aired on public access television. Each December, while flipping channels, inevitably, the bear would show up. The show featured a variety of bizarre segments, most of which involved the aforementioned bear staring awkwardly at the camera, smoking a cigar. Looking back at it now, it's crazy to think that there was smoking in kids shows back then. Other episodes were a bit stranger. In one, the bear sat in front of a chessboard, playing by himself, taking an uncomfortable amount of time between moves and, again, staring awkwardly at the camera. The show would air somewhat normally for a week or two, but eventually episodes would conclude with a strange message. Legends of the Hidden Temple. Hey kids, do you like puppies and kittens? Yeah? Well subscribe to Theft King, unless you hate puppies and kittens. Now, kids are stupid, but most aren't stupid enough to sneak out of their houses in the middle of the night on Christmas Eve because a robot bear on the television told them. The bear lived in a small old cabin deep in the woods. Were it not for the fact that the electricity was working, you might think the place had been abandoned entirely.
Considering everything that had just transpired, the boy wasn't thrilled with the idea of walking through the woods again, instead opting to follow the road in hopes of finding help. While the boy was injured in the car accident, he eventually made a full recovery. For his role in saving the child's life, Officer Sousa received tremendous accolades from the town, being dubbed the Hero of Christmas. Stand right, hit the head right, Biggie there, and I. 